What's up, gamers? Welcome to the show where I keep you guys updated on the latest in gaming news. But before we get into today's gaming news, we're going to do what we always do and take a look at today's clip of the day. Clip of the day. A pretty good eight kill streak with the wrench there on Black Ops 3. And remember, guys, if you guys have a clip that you want to see on the clip of the day, you can submit me that clip through YouTube. All that information will be down in the description below, pretty much. The clip can be from any game that you want. Black Ops 3, Fallout 4, Battlefield, Battlefront. As long as it's good enough, it should make it onto the clip of the day. So make sure you submit me your clips if you want to see it on the clip of the day. And now let's get into our first piece of gaming news for the day, and it's coming to us from the guys over at PlayStation, because for the past couple of months, Sony's been extremely quiet about their virtual reality headset. In fact, they've been so quiet that I actually completely forgot it was even coming out this year. But that's most likely about to change extremely soon, because although Sony hasn't made any announcements about Project Morpheus for a really long time, the Consumer Electronics Show for 2016 actually starts this week on the 6th of January. And the day before it starts, Sony will be holding a press conference to discuss all their plans and big products that are coming out this year. And this could mean that Sony could be releasing a whole new batch of information for their virtual reality headset. Now, Sony hasn't made any official announcements that they'll be coming out with information about the headset at this conference. However, if we take a look at the official Sony website for the Consumer Electronics Show, they've got a whole bunch of their products lined up in the background and if we take a look at the far left we can see Sony's virtual reality headset is among the other products. So to me that pretty much guarantees that we'll be at least hearing something about the headset. Now I don't know what that something could be. In my opinion I think we're going to hear about a more specific release window and maybe hopefully the actual price of this thing because I'm actually really curious to see how much Sony's going to put this thing up for for because if they do make the price too high then it's going to deter a lot of people from actually purchasing the headset and could be the deciding factor which determines how successful it becomes. I personally think that the headset's going to retail at about 300 US dollars. It's kind of hard to tell because this kind of thing has literally never been on the market before but if you consider that most semi high-end gaming headsets range from about 200 to 250 dollars, a virtual reality headset that projects a virtual reality has to be more expensive. But that's just my opinion. We'll have to wait until Tuesday to see what information we do actually get and what plans Sony has for this headset. So if you're really curious about Sony's Project Morpheus, make sure you tune into the press conference on Tuesday. Or if you won't be able to make the press conference, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on everything that gets announced. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's gaming news. Really only one news report to report on today. There was literally nothing else in the news and I literally only had this to report on, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what the virtual reality headset is going to be like when it finally comes out, and I'm sure you guys are as well, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on everything about Project Morpheus and all the other virtual reality headsets that are coming out. So yeah, that's it for today's gaming news. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday's episode. Disappointing. So I don't think that backwards compatibility really sucks. It's just a few issues really need to be ironed out. And once they are ironed out, I think the whole experience is going to be pretty great. Anyway, speaking of things that are disappointing, that leads us into...